Hi, everybody. This is going to be a short lecture on quiz one. I want to demonstrate uh, to you what I'm asking you to do. Uh, you're going to be looking at a work of art, and you're going to be describing how that work of art can phase the five elements of art. I'm going to give you an example. I've chosen a painting by an artist named William de Kooning, who uh, was an artist uh, living in New York, uh, 20th century. He's dead now. He died in the late 80s, I think. And this is a painting from 1939. It's a modern work of art. It's abstract. It's not completely abstract. Obviously, you see a figure sitting at a table, uh, but this figure is not realistic, right? This isn't how people really look. It doesn't have that illusion of realism. So it's abstract in that sense. I'm going to describe how these elements uh, are depicted in this work of art. First off, line. <clears throat> we do see uh, actual line in this image. We see line made with black paint as it outlines the figure uh, in the arms and the torso and the face in this vase on the table and in some respects, some uh, geometric elements that make up the table and the chair, we can see some kind of line here, although it's not quite clear what it is. So line is used quite simply as outline, uh, quite simple. Secondly, shape. Well, we see the figurative shapes, which are irregular. They're not geometric, shapes that make up the body. Uh, the irregular shapes that make up the folds of the pants. Uh, we see geometric shape based on rectangles that makes up the chair and table perhaps. And we see that the background is divided up into a couple of rectangles uh, along uh, at the bottom there as well. So we have both organic and geometric shapes. And again, the division of the canvas is uh, in rectangles. Third, value. Value has to do with lightness and darkness as it corresponds to the gray scale. So it doesn't, it's not the same thing as color. Values, uh, they're fairly light. The value of the upper part of the torso or value of the figure is, is white. It's the lightest value we can get. There are some variations of light grays in the face, but it's uh, uh, fairly light in value. <clears throat> The pinks and orange and yellow uh, that happen behind the figure are also quite light uh, in value. They correspond to a high maybe of two or a three on the value scale. This becomes a little darker and it stands out in contrast to the light. I suppose the darkest values are in the shadows uh, of the figure, in, in the pants that the figure is wearing. This red it's pretty dark. This is quite dark. But overall, more, more of the values are light, and it's a high contrast. You have light values, you have some dark values, and you have some midtones in these yellow ochres. Uh, fourth, then, is color. Well, uh, we have uh, color seems to be abstract or arbitrary. That is, it doesn't necessarily represent the true color of things that we would observe. Of course, we can't observe a figure this color. They don't exist. Um, and uh, uh, the background and the table with that pink, uh, uh, you know, these are just colors that he selected. They're abstract or they're subjective. Um, there is some illusion of light and shadow in the in the body, the pants that the figure wears. We can see that this plane is facing the light. This plane is facing shadow, uh, facing light, facing shadow. So there's some indication of light and shadow uh, in, in the pants. Otherwise, the color is just used flat. It's not modeled by light and shadow. And, and these, they seem to be arbitrary. There's a strong contrast between this, this pink uh, and this uh, kind of cyan, this blue color. They're, they're very kind of jarring. Uh, they're very, uh, got a high contrast relationship between them. And fifth, texture. Well, we see the texture of the brushstroke. We can see that they seem to be kind of wild, energetic brushstrokes. They're not uh, really accurate. They're more gestural. Uh, and I think that's the texture that stands out. In contrast, these brushstrokes have a more refined texture, 
almost they're smoothed over. Uh, they're they're more illusionistic uh, of the volume of this this leg or the texture of the fabric of the pants. So that's my kind of uh, I guess description of how these elements are used in the painting. And I want you to do the same in, in the, on the quiz. You'll be seeing a painting and then you will describe how all five elements are, are used in the painting. And try to be clear and concise and make sure you don't skip anything. Address each of these five elements. Okay, thanks.